In this video, we're going to take a look at strategies for tackling proof in geometry. We're given that segment CW is congruent to segment RN and that segment RC is congruent to segment WN. Our goal here is to prove that segment OC is congruent to segment ON. So first, let's take a look at where you need to end up. Think about how you would arrive there by working backwards. In our case, we're trying to prove that segment OC is congruent to segment ON. So what would lead us to that particular conclusion? What would be true if those two segments were congruent? Well, one thing that would happen would be that triangle ROC would be congruent to triangle WON. So maybe this might be the route that we're going to need to take. So what does happen if we examine those two triangles? So first we have triangle ROC. I'm going to pull it over to the side. And then we have triangle WON. And I'm going to pull that to the side. Now, if these two triangles are congruent, then we would have enough information to prove OC and ON are congruent. However, here we only have that segment RC is congruent to segment WN, and then by vertical angles, angle ROC and angle WON are congruent. From our given information, we know that RN and WC are congruent. However, those two segments are not actually part of these two triangles, so they can't be used in our proof here. So therefore, I think we need to take another route. Just remember, sometimes you may go down the wrong path. Don't give up. Just try something else. Now, if segment OC and ON are congruent to each other, that would mean that angle ONC and angle OCN also have to be congruent. Now, what would lead us to that possible conclusion? Well, if two angles of a triangle are congruent, then the sides opposite of them must also be congruent. So how could we show that those two angles are congruent? Well, one route would be to show that triangle ROC is congruent to triangle WON, which is what we tried a moment ago, and it didn't really lead us anywhere. Another option would be to look at what else those angles belong to and show, for example, that triangle RCN and triangle WNC are congruent. So let's try that and see where it leads us. So I'm going to try to prove that triangle RCN is congruent to triangle WNC. So let's go ahead and start from scratch. Put tick marks on your diagram. Based on the given information, I know that RC is congruent to WN. I also know that RN and WC are congruent. Both of those segments belong to the triangles we were talking about a moment ago. And that is the next step in our process. Figure out which triangles those parts belong to. The segments we've referred to belong to triangle RNC and triangle WCN. Sometimes the diagrams are pretty complex and things are overlapping. If that's the case, pull useful triangles out and draw them to the side. So here we have triangle RNC with the corresponding tick marks and triangle WCN. See if you can show those two triangles congruent. If you're missing pieces of side, 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 angle, side, or angle, side, angle, see if some of the given information or other aspects of geometry may help you figure that out. So let's jump into writing down some of these ideas. We know that CW is congruent to RN, and the reason is, is because it's part of the given information. We know that RC is congruent to WN, and the reason for that is also that it is given. Now, some of you may have noticed that I put tick marks in my drawing for CN and CN. The reason is, is because both of those segments are actually the same segment. So therefore, CN is congruent to CN, and the reason for that is the reflexive property. Therefore, triangle RCN is congruent to triangle WNC, and the reason is side, side, side. Now, once we have that those two triangles are congruent, their corresponding parts are. So therefore, we know that angle RCN is congruent to angle WNC, and the reason for that is CPCTC. 
which stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. As you can see from our drawing here, I've transferred those tick marks to our original diagram. And from that, we can conclude that segment OC and segment ON are congruent. And the reason for that is, if two angles of a triangle are congruent, then the sides opposite them must also be congruent. So in summary, when tackling a proof, it helps to label your diagram with tick marks. Working backwards can also help you when you're not sure what to do. Pull complex diagrams apart and then put them back together again once you've figured out an approach. Proofs can sometimes have multiple routes that work, one of the reasons why I think they're so cool. Most importantly, remember, we as mathematicians will frequently go down a path that is a dead end. Don't give up. Just simply try something else.